If you want to know whether or not the military helicopter or the Volt bike are better, which one you should buy, then this video is for you. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Make sure to check out my new group, Bregon's Mythical Squad, and follow me on Twitter, at Bregon2. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be figuring out whether or not the Volt Bike or the Military Helicopter are better in jailbreak. So I'm going to be taking each one and driving it around the map for 30 minutes to see which one makes more money in 30 minutes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking four items, the jetpack, the key card, the shotgun, and the pistol. I'm going to be taking each car, and like I said, I'm going to be driving it for 30 minutes around the map, just grinding, just grinding, nothing else. And I'm going to try to make it as similar, the circumstances as possible, so that I can figure out which one makes more money. Which one I can make more money with, and that kind of thing. So, if I get caught, or if I get killed or something, I'll restart the 30 minutes, because I don't feel like it's fair to that car. If I get caught, and it takes like 5 minutes out of the time, I could be grinding. So, that's basically how I'm going to be measuring this, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So, I'm not allowed to use rocket fuel or the mobile garage game pass or anything like that just the car and the four items i, man I mentioned the jetpack key card shotgun and pistol and using those items and the purpose of this is figuring out which one is better which one is more worth your money so if you've ever had like a million dollars or something and want to know which car you should buy these kind of videos are for you this kind of is what i'm doing to help people know like how people choose between cars. So that way you know, should I get the Bugatti or should I get the tor Torpedo? Should I get the Volt Bike? Should I get the Military Helicopter? And why? That kind of thing. So, so I'm going to be figuring out all the stats, the money per minute, money per hour, and that sort of thing that each car makes. And we're going to be doing speed tests, all that. So stick around. I'm going to get in the Volt Bike right here. I'm going to time lapse the 30 minutes and let's hop right into it. Well, that was weird. Okay, guys, so I've got the Volt Bike. I've got my three items. I've got the key card, the shotgun, and the pistol all right here so that I can rob stuff just right. I have all my rocket fuel in my jetpack. I have my timer right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 30 minutes to make as much money as possible. And you can know, time lapse it so you guys don't have to watch 30 minutes of just me playing the game. But I have my timer right here. I'm going to start it in three, two, one, now. Now. And now I have 30 minutes to make as much money as I possibly can in jailbreak. Already, I can kind of tell that this Volt Bike is going to give me a few problems. Come on. Okay, we're good now. So in case there's a total loss and you have no clue what happened there, how did I just get $12,000? Basically what this is called is it's called money stacking. So money stacking is basically where you can hold the money from the museum that you robbed and hold the uranium from the power plant because they're different types of money, like different objects that give you money, you can cash them both at the same time. It's not a cheat, hack, or glitch, it's just something you can do. So that's that's what I use for every single one of these methods. It's the best way to make money, basically rob the jewelry store, hold the money from the jewelry store, rob the museum, hold that money, and then rob the power plant, and it's just kind of that same cycle. But that's the best way to make money, the fastest way to make money. And so um, that's basically what that is. It's not me hacking or anything. See if I can get this cop. Okay, that was easy. And onwards with the time lapse. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Take my eyes open to force reality 
reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush right there that is the end of the time i'm gonna rob the power plant because i always rob one last thing toward the end of the timer even if it's just really close or far away like this i always rob one last thing after the timer just to like give it give it a little bit more chance i feel like the luck wasn't very good this time with this car if it's open i'll rob it and it is not so i will not rob it anyways guys let's cash this in i'm gonna figure out how much money this car made but before i do that i'm gonna cash this in i'm gonna get the military helicopter and i'm gonna do my 30 minute time lapse with that this Volt bike is pretty self-explanatorily not very great. It's, I mean, it's very fast, very good at going off-road, but it just generally, um, it generally gets stuck way too much. It's very glitchy. Like, I really wish they had the original beta version of the Volt bike still in Jailbreak, but they don't anymore. It's very glitchy. Not, it has a lot of problems. It's not as great as it was before, and rocket fuel does almost nothing to it. Like, you can't fly with rocket fuel with it. So basically, Volt Bike isn't that great. We'll figure out how much money that makes after we total up the money from the military helicopter. Okay, there's your example of money stacking right there. It's quite a bit of money. Let's go over to the military helicopter, and then I'll start it. Okay, guys, so we have the military helicopter right here. I have this 30-second, 30 30-minute, 30 I mean, timer right here. I'm going to press the button in 3, 2, 1, now. Now, this is hopefully going to make a lot more money than the Volt Bike did because it doesn't have any weird glitches. I'm, I have really, really high hopes for this one. A few moments later. Okay, guys, another try with the military helicopter. I wound up getting caught by a camper at the bank. Doesn't normally happen. Let's start this again. I have my 30-minute timer right here. Tapping it in 3, 2, 1, now. Now I have 30 minutes. I have really high hopes for this that I can make tons and tons and tons of money with this car.
Okay, there it is, guys. That is the end of my time. I made a lot, a lot of money. Okay, so I'm going to total all this up. I'm going to figure it all out. And let's go check out the stats. Okay, guys. So I ran all the numbers with the cars, and here's what I found. So when I started with the Volt Bike, when I started the 30 minutes, as you can see right here, I started with $149,950. Okay, that's the amount of money I started with before the 30 minutes of grinding. After the 30 minutes of grinding, I ended with $230,150. So the Volt Bike, after only 30 minutes, made $80,200 in jailbreak. That's, that's a lot of money. That That's $160,000. $400 per hour. Ah, uh, my military helicopter. Okay, I guess it just moved. It's still here. I still have it. The Volt Bike made $160,400 per hour. That is insane. That's $2,673 per minute. That is a lot of money right there. That is a lot of money. That's like robbing the bank and getting all the money every single time. Wait, this is a private server. How are you people? Okay, okay, they're just fans. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're good. Anyways, with the military helicopter, I started with $269,630 before the 30 minutes, and I ended with $358,170. So that's $88,540 per hour, for 30 minutes, my bad. $177,080 per hour. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just going to go with it. Or, and... $2,951 per minute. That is even more money. So these two come really close. Sadly, my internet just died. Yeah, everything's against me today. But these two come really close as far as um, grinding is concerned. I feel like it could have had better luck in the military helicopter. But the military helicopter definitely wins for the amount of money you get. So I definitely pick that if you want to make the most money. There are a few other topics though, like the Volt Bike is really good for getting away from cops. It really has really high acceleration, assuming you don't get stuck and glitch on something. If you're willing to tolerate the glitches, the Volt Bike is definitely the most stylish. It's the most fun to ride, in my opinion, except for when it glitches. And it's the best for getting away from cops. So if you have trouble getting caught, Volt Bike's probably for you. Military helicopter is best for robbing things. Go over the map with ease, it shoots missiles. So I'd say the military helicopter is definitely what you should get here. Military helicopter definitely wins. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. And make sure you show up every Friday. I'm doing giveaways every single Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my VIP server where I'm giving away anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000 in safes to people who win certain challenges. So last week we did battle royales. I'm doing something a little bit different this week. But we do all kinds of stuff like that. It's free for anyone to join. And all you have to do is show up at the live stream I host every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Show up at that. Click the link in the chat. And then we send straight to the VIP server. So make sure you like and subscribe and show up then. And I'll see you all again next time.